So in the last video, we have seen how to set up a Tomcat server in your Eclipse. So once we're done with the setup, what we'll do is we'll create a sample project or sample web application. So in order to create a web application, what we can do is you have to just go to your project explorer here, select click, and you can select new here and click on a project. Or you can click directly on dynamic web project. If this option is not there, what we can do is we can click on others and here you have to search for dynamic web project or you can simply type web, so not web, let's say dynamic. Yeah. So if you, if you search dynamic, it will say dynamic web project here and say next. Oh, I selected wrong one. So dynamic web project and say next. Now it will ask you for a project name. We'll say this is sample web app. So that's my project name. It will ask me for which server you want to work on. I will say Tomcat uh, version 7. This is your servlet API version, which is I'm using here 3.0. And then uh, you can select uh, nothing else. We can select next here. And that's the folder you'll be getting, say next. Okay. So when you say next here, it will say this is your context root, which is your project name. And there's an option of generate web.xml file. So if you if you are familiar with uh, servlet programming, so we have to use a deployment descriptor. So we can check this so that it will create a deployment descriptor for you. If you uncheck it, if I, if I have not done the stick mark, it will not create web.xml file so that you have to create that file later on. So in this uh, scenario, I'm just selecting it so that I will be getting that file. I will click on finish. Once you click on finish, it will create a project called as sample web app. In that, it will be having a hierarchy in which you will be having a file called as web.xml. So if you expand this, there are lots of things to be noticed. Uh, your, all your web content or web uh, pages or web configuration will be will belong to this folder, which is web content. All your Java files, which is your servlets, beans, they will belong to Java resources here. So there it will be having a source file uh, somewhere here, which is a SRC. And in web content, you'll be having a web INF folder, a very important folder for your project. In this, you'll be having a web.xml file, which is if you open this file, which is uh, a deployment descriptor file. So you can see uh, there's an option of source here. So you can, you can see the configuration. So it only display all the welcome list. Now what we'll do here is we'll create a sample web application or sorry, sample uh, file, a JSP file so that uh, when you run this application, it will open that file, okay? So to, to create a simple JSP, we can right click on the project and we'll say new. Uh, we have to select a JSP file here. So we'll say JSP and we'll name this file as index. So it is index.jsp, we'll say next and we'll click on finish. Now, as soon as you click on finish, it will create a JSP page. What I want to write here is, we'll say, hello world, okay, and save. Now, once you save this, it will create a JSP page, which is index.jsp. And here in web.xml, you can see there's something called as welcome file list, in which you have all the welcome files. So first, it will search for this file, which is index.html. Uh, so we don't have any file called index.html, so it will search for index.html, not there. Then it will search for index.jsp, so ultimately it will search for this file when you run this application. So to run this project, we can simply right click on your JSP file and we can say run as uh, run on server. Or what we can do is we can right click on your project and say run as run on server. So if you say run on server, it will search for the Tomcat, which is Tomcat 7 here. We'll say next. And this is the project you have to work. And we'll click on finish here. So initially, it will start your Tomcat. So you can see Tomcat is starting here. Uh, so it is getting started. And you can see here there is something. There will be a, there will be a URL, which is a sample web app. And it prints hello world. Now you can also open this in external browser. So you can just click on Chrome here and we'll paste this address here. So it will say, hello world, right? 
But what if uh, you want to open this output in browser itself or uh, your external browsers? So what we can simply do is we can go to this, uh, where is that? In window and in window you can select a web browser. By default it is internal web browser. We can select uh, your system, default system web browser. And let me just close this uh, browser here. And let me rerun the project. So if you say run as run on server, uh, same thing, we'll click on finish. Now it will directly open that uh, output in the Chrome browser. Clear? So this is how you have to create a first web application. Cool. If you cre uh, in future, if you create a, uh, a servlet files, so you have two choices. You'll be having a uh, annotation based servlet or will be having XML based servlet. So for that, you can view all those servlet, servlet tutorials on YouTube. So that's it. This is how you have to create a simple web application in Eclipse. So thank you so much for watching and do subscribe for further videos.